Good evening, y'all. Good evening, y'all. Welcome to the Bubba Dub Show. Yeah, you know the routine before I like to start my show. Go on and hit the like button, because y'all been real. Y'all been real stingy with the likes. Go on and hit the subscribe button, too. Come on. All my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to the Bubba Dub Show. Y'all finally getting to see who I am. I'm a dog. That's right. Before we get to the sports today, let's talk about Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Let's talk about it. She ate his motherfucking raisin in the potato salad it's up last night. That's what she did. And Dub ain't even in the politics. I don't even give up my by politics. But I tell you what, it was very interesting last night. All Donald Trump wanted to do was deflect. And Kamala Harris said, not on my motherfucking watch. You want to sit up here and talk about everybody else, Trump? Let's talk about these 75 felonies you got. Because he got them. Trump got 75 motherfucking felonies. And ain't going to jail. And ain't going to jail either. And guess what? I don't even give a damn about him going to jail. I don't care nothing about that. All I care about is the laughs I can get from these two people. And damn it, they gave it to me last night. Now, Donald Trump come out on there talking about the immigrants. The illegal immigrants is coming over here eating our pets, eating our cats and dogs. <laughs> what the hell you been, Trump? We been eating cats and dogs our whole damn life. I ain't no immigrant. I know I done ate a dog or two. Shit. The way I'm barking around, you know, I know. I didn't eat some kind of animal. But we don't want to talk about that, Trump. We want to know what can you do for us black folk. That's the big question right here. White people, I'm going to get to y'all in a minute because I know y'all watch this show. And you know I rock with you too. But right now I'm talking to the brothers. We want to know with Donald Trump, what are you going to do for us black folks? We don't want to hear no more motherfucking lies. We don't want to hear all that. <clears throat> Thank you for getting Kodak Black peel popping ass out that time. Thank you for that. But what are you going to do for us that's going to help us right now? We need more than 1200 motherfucking dollars. Some of you Negroes still stuck on that $1,200 Trump gave us. Get, let it go. It's over with. We talking about right now. We won't change right now. Do you hear me? Because I want the people to know. I want the people to know today. It's either going to be Kamala or it's going to be Trump. One of them two going to be. One of them two. Going to be the president of the United States. And you have to make a decision. Not me, not your mama, not your daddy, not your girl, not your kid, not your boss. You're going to have to make you gonna have to make that choice of who you want in office. All I care about is whoever get in motherfucking office. Take her as Americans. And get because I'm them just saying, and I'm black. Take her as for one. Take her as off the bat. Like, stop paying us land. Go on and pay us black folk first. Yeah, so we can start paying our bills on time. Go on and pay us up front. Now, Kamala Harris, now yesterday, I ain't going to lie. You ate Trump up in that debate. It sounded good. But is your word your bond? Because both of them going to get up there and say what they supposed to say for us to go out there and elect them. But is your word is your bond, Kamala Harris, is what I want to know. Because all I'm hearing from some of my black people, she ain't black. She is. She got something in her. From what I seen last night, she got something in her. I ain't talking about no meat in her. She got some soul somewhere. I don't know what she getting it. Who, who helping her or what? But the girl got some soul in her. Well, I'm then shook Trump hand too. How you doing? Let me introduce myself. I'm Kamala Harris, fam. Then she shook her hand off as she shook his hand. She know Trump hand nasty. She Trump piss and don't even um don't even um shake when he get through pissing. No, wash his hand. I don't want no president that don't wash their hands after they use the restroom. Not at all. So some of y'all sit there home there, dude. Come on, man. You trip, man. I'm telling y'all the guy the only truth for the day. Like Kamala Harris said, Trump, you got fired in front of 81 million motherfucking people, and you still saying you got cheated. Stop it. No thing y'all might not know. Taylor Swift done got behind old Kamala Harris. Whew. What they tell you? If the motherfucking Swifties is behind Kamala Harris, 
I don't know what to tell you. Now, I know my, bro I know y'all, man, we ride with Trump. Ride with him. Some of y'all going to ride with Kamala. Ride with her, too. Ride with whoever you want to ride. Just stop getting in my DM and asking me who in the I'm voting for. Neither. Voting for me. And only me. So you got to make the best decision for you and your family. Yeah, stop worrying about everybody else's family. Worry about your own family. Watching this show today. Then you got to know this show being presented by Prize Picks. You got to know this show being um, presented by Prize Picks. Go and download the number one sports betting fantasy app that it is right now. Go and download it right now. Use my promo code TRASH when you do. T-R-A-S-H-H. -H. Two H's in that trash. Go and download it right now with Prize Picks. If you're a first-time user, um, they're giving you $50 instantly. When you play your first five dollar line up, what you mean? You put five dollars in, they giving you fifty. Yeah, it's more or less over there too. It's more or less Thursday night football game. Um, they got Josh Allen slated to have thirty nine and a half rushing yards. All you got to do is put more or less. That's how you got to do it. Put more or less over there. Um, this Sunday coming up, they got James Cook to have zero point five rushing and receiving TDs. You you can put more on that. You can put more on that. Uh, they got Tyreek Hill Slager to have 0.5 rushing receiving TD yard. You could put more or less. Do y'all think Tyreek Hill is going to have a rushing TD or receiving TD? It's either more or less. That's simple. It's the simple things that get you the greater things. That's a bar. Prize picks. Yeah. True story. Some of y'all now mad at me behind this Tyreek situation. Oh, man, 20000 too much. Man, let me tell you, Negro, something. If you're going to lay down with them ducks, you wouldn't have that motherfucking problem. I'm not going to sit up here and feel sorry for no motherfucking Tyrese. This nigga playing Fast and Furious movie. He probably got plenty of money. The niggas who mad is the ones who ain't paying their child support. Yeah, you a coward. You ain't paying child support? Yes, you a coward. Now, is it right how them women do it? It ain't. They be getting over and them judges be helping them get over. I agree. But he knew that before he laid down with that motherfucker. He knew that before he married. He knew how she was. If you don't date them, you won't have them motherfucking problems. Come down to the project somewhere and get you a real sister. Find you, find you a good sister. Pretty too. Seeing they. Only the aliens. It's a lot of fine CNAs around this motherfucker. Tyrese could have found. Now he won't. He want them exotic motherfuckers. Now you got them exotic problems. Love Tyrese. That's my brother. But them the choices he made. What that man eat don't make me shit. <clears throat> but him going on this thing crying. Now nah, listen that man. Y'all falling for that. He ain't doing but trying to sell that movie. Get all the attention on him. Oh, he going through child support. He going through all that. Oh, he got a new movie coming out. Y'all too blind to see it. Y'all too blind. Y'all can't see the forest for the trees. Sometimes you got to better see. You got to better see uh, above the, the BS out here in the world that's going on. There's a lot of BS going on out here. Y'all don't want to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it. We talked about the Jay-Z and Lil Wayne. Oh, he helped Lil Wayne with 14 million tax. And? Good for you. But what they got to do with this man performing? Nah, he ain't the host. The city officials pick cool. Even okay, let's just say, for, for example, today, if Lil Wayne don't even get to come out at all Super Bowl, who would y'all want to see though? That's the thing I'm asking y'all today. Who would y'all want to see perform at the Super Bowl with Kendrick Lamar? If Lil Wayne or nobody from New Orleans don't get to go up, who would y'all want to see with kick out? On stage, because I don't have a problem with K. I. I don't. I'm just calling it like I was seeing it. I ain't got no problem with Jay Z, either, but I know he's full of shit. Too many people say it. That's all. Too many mother people keep coming on here saying Jay Z full of shit. Some of y'all watching full of shit. I'm full of shit. Some people find him full of shit, but y'all act like Jay Z can't be full of shit. Stop it. It's the same man that did DMX like that. Hmm? 
DMX album never came out when he was over there um, when Jay-Z was running Def Jam. These are facts. P. Diddy, I see you running back around trying to make your, uh, trying to reappear. Stay your ass hidden. Now these white people giving us money again and patting us on the back. Now here you come bringing your dark Vega ass out. Stay in the motherfucking hole. Gonna mess it up for us. Now we already done told them chill out on you because they really ain't got nothing on you. Besides that tape they put out with you, you know what I'm saying, putting that girl in that UFC move. That was bad. Um, did it. We know that. But as a man, as a human being, I forgive you. But you coming back a little too prematurely right now for me. I need you to stay where you at. Stay where you at right now, fam. Because New York, see, everybody in New York mad at uh, Daniel Bones right now. You come back out, they're going to be putting everything back on you. I see you trying to sell your crib in L.A. You better sell that motherfucker. You seen what they did to their own Harley Weinstein? What you think they'll do to you? You be writing that motherfucker sale with him? Harley Weinstein ain't coming home? Mm-mm. It's a different world we live in, y'all. Y'all better start paying attention to what's going on. And everybody that grin ain't your friend. Yeah, you're going to have people come around. Ooh, boy. Ooh, 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 I love you, boy. You're doing your thing. Ooh, whole time plotting. You got to watch these plotters. You niggas going out here getting these women. Getting, and you didn't want to bring them back to your crib. For what? Are you trying to show off? You trying to let her know you got money? You trying? Mm-hmm, that's gonna cost you. So when you take one of them damn trips with her out of town, somebody gonna keep your dough down. Come here. Pick everything you got. Now you get back to the house with her. She helping you look for the shit. Then she know where it's at. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We not gonna do that. We not gonna never do that. You gonna learn something on this show? Cause damn it, I'm gonna teach you. Cut the best. Cause they always say, people say. Man, you know what I'm saying? People are always talking about experience help a lot of people. It don't have to be. I don't have to experience some shit to know what not to do or not. I'm telling you right now, stop going out here laying over these hoes, bringing them back to your house. Meet them hoes at the room, your partner house, somebody else, but not your house. It's not safe, especially if you're in the line, like getting money or whatever you is, man. Don't do it. Don't trust them. Them hoes be lying and plotting, and your ass will be on child support like Tyrese. Paying, paying twenty and forty thousand a month when he don't need to be paying it, but he paying it because he made that decision to go lay down with that mud. Should have never gave that mud her pavo shot. He wouldn't have them problems right now today. That's the problem with you, um, Nichols. Stop giving them hoes them pavo shots. The whole making she just survived just off the good Lord. Telling you the truth for the day. You see me with my Colorado shit on? You see me with my doctor shit on today? I'm the doctor. I'm going to diagnose some of you Negroes today. Some of you ain't right, and you know it. Running around here, hating on your own partner. Somebody you're going to grow up with your whole life. You're hating on him because he's doing good, doing better than you. You're hating on him. Oh, he changing. Now, motherfucker, you changing. You the one changing around him. Oh, I Peter Frank, uh, Frankie Beverly, man. Oh, I Peter Frankie Beverly. We losing so many people every day, man. We losing somebody, man. And you Negroes want to walk around here mad at the world. Cheer up, nigga. Smile. Take your kids to get a mother an ice cream cone or something. Do something positive sometime. Go to church. Hell, I just went. I went. For different reasons. I went to church because I'm thinking I go to church. Cowboy gonna win. They won't get what I'm going again. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna repeat a fender now. Good Lord, don't show me. You come in these doors, you come out, you're gonna be happy. <laughs> here I am, Lord. Father, Lord, here I am. Forgive me. Go on and take my communion. <laughs> Give me the juice. Put the 200 in the plate like I did. <laughs> Victory. See, I give all my winnings and my victories to the good Lord. I jump on her, I play, I joke. That's my job. But I'm always going to give a victory to that man up above. Without him, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Yeah, it's shining bright on me now, but I remember when there wasn't no light on me. Nothing but dirt dust covered up. God came, God sent the rain through. Sent the rain through. Oh, they was, I was covered now, but was uncovered now. See now. I can see now. 
Some of you right now watching this show lost. Don't know which way to go. Don't probably gonna know how what you're gonna eat today or not, or what tomorrow bring. I tell you what, you put your faith in that man up above right there. You won't you you, you won't have to worry about that. He said, leave all your worries and give all your burdens to me. Y'all better than me. Oh, we're gonna have church on this show. We're gonna have church. We're gonna we gonna have fun on this bubble dub show today. We got the Miami Dolphins playing Buffalo tomorrow. Who you got? You got two of Josh Allen. Tyreek Hill, uh, uh, Waddle over there. God damn it, who you got? Division game at that. Division game at that. Miami playing the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be a game. Here y'all. And I'm going live after that game, too. So I can get my immediate reactions after that game tomorrow night. I will be going live right here. But you're telling y'all, man. Tua, I think he's leading the league in passing yards right now. Ain't but one game. I think he had 338 yards uh, against a victory against the Jacksonville Jaguars this past Sunday. Uh, how do y'all feel about Tua? He just got paid. He top 10 to y'all, top 15. Um, and I know a lot of people say, uh, man, you're going to look good too if you had Tyreek Hill. I don't think so. I think if you had if, if Tyreek Hill was, 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 was with the New York Giants, she, he wouldn't be Tyreek. I just think Daniel Bones that bad. I just do. He can run, but he's just that bad. Now y'all don't never. Y'all always talk about how the other quarterback, black quarterback, is that can't read the defense. Daniel Jones can't read nothing. Thirty. Oh, we need a motherfucking thirty for thirty on Daniel Jones. He can't read. Y'all ain't talking about that. I'm sick of the foolishness. I'm sick of the foolishness. I'm here to clean this shit up. I'm here to clean this shit up, Ryan. Young. And I'm going to do it. There's too many people getting on these platform sugarcoating shit. Don't want to say this. Don't want to say that. Don't want to offend that person. The hell with that. If they don't like the truth, so be it. If they don't like the motherfucking truth, so be it. Just like I told them, doc, just like I told them damn teachers this morning. My third motherfucking time telling y'all, don't you send no more motherfucking homework home. It needs to be finished at this school. Don't let me say it no motherfucking more either. You got to start telling people, man. Otherwise, they're going to try to get over on you. True story. Like my, my people going to call me. Hey, fam, can you take me? Can you take, can you take me to work? Shit, you got gas money? Uh, 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 oh, uh, shit, I, I ain't gonna have none. Shit, sh 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 nope. Hell no. No, I'm, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get up out my bed. Jump in my car. Because I run Supreme. Yeah. 93. Crank up. Put the AC on when I pick your big ass up. You, you, you don't want to be hot. You want to feel some cool air. Well, I want some motherfucking money. Oh, fam, you tripping, man. You, you, you get me side yourself. Man, you can't even come pick me up. And ain't. Get one of them hoes to pick you up that you giving your money to. What make you know what I'm saying? What you, what you, call them hoes to come get you. Hell no, they ain't coming because you ain't got no money. I'm, I'm Look, y'all, I'm stopping the whole lot of shit. I'm not going to the Thanksgiving dinner this year. I'm not doing that either. Every time I go to leave motherfucking Thanksgiving dinner, y'all want to pull me to the side and borrow money. Let me hold 300, fam. Yeah, God so bless you. Boy, I'm so proud of you, everybody. Yeah. But you ain't been the now motherfucking show. You ain't been the now comedy show, but you want me to give you two or 300. I'm not coming to the Thanksgiving. I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it no more. When I come around and I'm firing up this, this ain't trash, here y'all come, fam. Let me go on, uh, let me match it. Motherfucker, you ain't got my kind of weed to match this. You got Reggie. You ain't got this. So you ain't finna try this. Let me buy some. I don't sell drugs, sir. I don't sell drugs, sir. I smoke weed. Recreation. I got a prescription for it. That's all I'm saying to y'all. Certain things you can't be doing no more in 2024. 23, you prayed to good Lord. 
that you wasn't going to do certain things and you're still doing the same motherfucking things you were doing at 24. Some of you hoes that went down here and got BBL, getting your stomach right. Now you're right back eating seafood bars every motherfucking day. You ain't drinking water. Your peace stink like a motherfucker. Now you don't want everybody in your family to borrow five or $10,000, get that BBL, get your stomach down. Now you're right back eating bad again. You motherfuckers not grateful. You motherfuckers not grateful. I'm, I'm, you know. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Shit ain't the same no more, man. The music ain't the same no more. You used to put a CD on 10 years ago, put a CD on, and, and, and no skills. Now you got skills from one to eight. Man, them only two songs jamming one to eight. Don't nobody want to buy that shit. I see why the uh, the sales down now. These niggas not jamming. O and B, what happened to O and B? Who in O and B right now doing something besides Chris Brown? I mean, when you can put R Kelly on, let it go. You remind me of my Jeep. I wanna ride something like my car. I wanna put. I even put Key Sweat on. How deep is your love? What we got now? I'm waiting. What we got now? Nothing. But motherfucking memories. Memories is what we got. We got to do better, ladies and gentlemen. We got to do better as America. Oh, yeah, we're American. We are law abiding citizens. Now, I'm going to tell you, like I told old dude on the internet earlier. Told me when he see me, he going to put hands on me. You might. But you going to jail. You can rest. You, you put your mother a power inch on me. You going to jail. I don't mind standing there waiting till the motherfucking police officer get there. I don't mind. I'll wait. I wait. Y'all had a situation last week. Woo, y'all should have seen my situation, man. I did my motherfucking thing too. Dude rang up on me in Walmart. Yeah, rang up on me in Walmart trying to get like, let's get it in. Okay, bet. Let's get it in. Woo, let me tell y'all something. When them motherfucking police pulled up, you should have seen him. You should have seen him trying to run. Mm -mm, come on. I see you in that black Tahoe right there. Off of there, that black. Right there. That's him. That's the perpetrator. Go and get him. They went and got him. Brought him over. Is this the man trying to fight you? Yes, sir. Searching. He was clutching like he had a pistol on him. You don't want to play a game with me. I get you. You don't want to play a game with me. I'm dirty. I'm dirty like that. I don't bother nobody. I ain't got here trying to fight nobody. But y'all want to come up and try to fight me, you're going to jail. Threatening me going to jail. And y'all don't think, oh man, oh man, he ain't gonna press charges. Shit. I'm pressing charges and I'm writing the state. Y'all better pick these motherfucking charges up. Y'all better pick these charges up. You got to stand on business in 2024. God not gonna keep helping you. And y'all don't want to stand on business. You crying and God help me. God help me. And when God help you, you niggas don't stand on business. God help me get some money, Lord. Lord, just help me get some money. You don't help me get some money, pay your bill. He help your money get pay your bill. You ain't paying him. You're buying dope. Let me get a sale. Mama, Mama, you need to be put that on the light bill. Oh, but you want to keep crying to God. God help me, man. Oh, please, I just need some help. A college people, you know, fam, help me out, man. I'm doing the best I can. Now, motherfucker. No. No. God heard your cry. He know you full of shit. Now, if God not helping you, what make you think I should help your ass? I ain't got no help. I ain't got no hell to put you in. I can't make shit appear or disappear. I ain't got them kind of powers like my father up above God. He got them. My father up above got him, and he a jealous God, and he see some of y'all out here praising the other guys. Cool with Floyd, love him. Cool with 50, love him. 
Do I to treat them like they God? Never. I mean, but one motherfucking God, and he up there somewhere watching over us all. Some of you might not believe in God. That's you. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm not going to judge you. Don't judge me. Some of y'all vote for Trump. Some of y'all vote for Kamala Harris. Don't judge one another. Judge, vote for whoever you want to vote for. But I can tell you right now, I'm not voting. I'm not voting. Somebody going to pay me a vote. Trump, Kamala, whoever you are, you want to get my vote, pay me. Pay me. Look at y'all, Doug, you trip. I'm just, you know, I got to put the funny in there, man. Y'all be too serious, man. Y'all be too serious, man. Sometimes y'all got to let us comedians, let us cook, let us create. Stop, man, stop. Y'all, y'all just be too sensitive on certain things, man. Y'all be a little too sensitive, man. You got to lighten up. Lighten up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now we finna go on and get gone, get down to the grit of the show today. And that is this Sunday, my Dallas Cowboy playing against the New Orleans Saints. It's gonna be the game of the motherfucking week, too. And I'm not here to dismiss nothing the Saints doing. All my Saints fans, come on in. Who that? Come here. Come here. I ain't got nothing against y'all Saints. I really don't. I love New Orleans. Love the food, love the people, love y'all women. Come here. But let me tell y'all something. It's a new year. And Derek Carr is not a star. And I'm going to show you this Sunday. Oh, man. Carr look great. Hey, any car can look great the first day. I can bought plenty of car from the Miskins. First day, run like a champ. Next day, you need to be in the motherfucking junkyard. I'm telling you the truth. Everything look good ain't good. And that's the Saints. Y'all can't beat us, fam. Your defense, Jordan, I like him. Cameron, I love him. But it's, and Kamara, I love him. You ain't got nothing else over there. You ain't got nothing for them motherfucking cowboys over there. We a machine. We that damn Russian and Rocky, I'm telling you. And y'all Apollo. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's break it down, man. Start with the quarterback. Who the best quarterback out of Derek Carr and, 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 and Dakota? It ain't even no motherfucking question. Derek Carr ain't nowhere near that level. Ah, oh, you tripping. He had Devontae motherfucking Adam down there in the Raiders. They got rid of him. Do you hear me? Your college, your college teammate left Green Bay to come play with you and they still get rid of you. Derek Carr ain't no motherfucking good quarterback and y'all know it. So just Slim rolling over in this motherfucking grave right now, knowing um uh, Derek Carter on um, the quarterback. My quarterback? We talking about my quarterback up there in Dallas? They got to deal with the Jordan brand? The highest paid quarterback in NFL history? My quarterback? We'll be the MVP this year. We'll be the league MVP this year. Dak Prescott will be. You can't tell me no difference. No, he ain't the best, but he damn sure ain't the less evil. Y'all gonna put some respect on Dakota Prescott name this year. You gonna put some motherfucking respect on his name. Oh, in the big games, he gonna show up. That was last year. We talking about now. We talking about now. Two years ago, I was wearing condoms. I don't want them no more. You see the change? You see, I had to build up to build up to take that motherfucker off. What I'm telling y'all every day. Running back, y'all goggles. Alvin Kamara, Zeke ain't that no more. Looked all right the other day. But I'm being real. That's one thing I'm going to be on this show. I'm going to be real. Alvin Kamara got Zeke beat. I'm, I ain't got nothing to say on that one. But let's get down to the motherfucking offensive line. Your offensive line, not like my offensive line. <laughs> We got some real motherfucking Texas cattle uh, 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 beef up there in Dallas on that front line. Yeah, all angles, bulls. Come here. Dad can sit back there in that pocket and throw it. Now let's get to the receivers. Who on New Orleans right now? Better than C.D. Lamb, the GOAT. 
not a motherfucking soul over there. Bell. Do you hear me? See, you top two, top three right now. And they paying them like it too. See, get because y'all went out and beat the Carolina Grasshoppers, you Saints fan, in y'all mind. Oh, you seen what we did to them? Man, Alabama right now beat the Carolina Panthers. I mean, the Carolina Grasshoppers. That ain't no damn good team, and y'all know it. And they need to put Bryce Young ass on special teams. What I'm saying to y'all is this Sunday, it's going to be a good-ass game. I'm not here to deny that. I'm not feeling sure up here and lie about it. I already done told y'all Dallas going to win. That's my word. That would never change. That would never change. Dallas will win this game this Sunday. It's going to separate the boys from the men. Oh, man. We we own y'all. Y'all have been beaten. I think y'all got like a 9 to 4 record against us, Cowboys, man. But once again, that was the end. This is now. Cowboys, we got less, but we got more. See, when we had more, more talent, more everything, we lost. Now we ain't got the, all that talent like we used to have. We got talent, but not start studied like it used to be. That's when we're going to play our best. It showed you this Sunday. Oh, man, Cleveland, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit that it was Cleveland. They're an NFL team, ain't they? That's all I want to know. Is they or not an NFL team? We went down to Cleveland and handled business. Now, I see Dak that, that, that scraped the team. No, he didn't. He didn't really shred him. But when we needed him to make a play, he made a play. We played down to our competition. Everybody know we played down to our competition. Wasn't even no, wasn't even no really no contest. Had Deshaun um, Masai Paula Watson being a little bit better and, and doing things, then y'all would have probably got 50 hung on y'all, just to be honest. Third and fourth quarter, we ain't trying to do nothing, man. That's all I'm saying. Game was over. They could have, they should have put somebody else on. And then to watch that scrap up there in Cleveland. Because that's what's up there. Scrap. We still praying for you, Watson. Oh, uh, like I say, man. Man got so much going on in his life, man. You need, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but. It ain't looking good in Cleveland right now either. It, it, it ain't looking good. Uh, big boxing match coming up. Canelo Alvarez and Berlanda fighting. Get my yayo on. Man, Canelo finna knock this dude out. Dude, young. Uh, talk a good game. And he's a, a, a pretty and he's a damn good boxer. But he's not ready for Canelo, man. Come on, man. Canelo, stop all this cherry picking and go ahead and fight uh, Crawford, man. Go on and get in there and fight Crawford. Uh, he been calling you out. Give him what he want. It's if a motherfucker call me out and I'm a boxer, I'm the champion. You know what? And if the money right, I'm going to give you what you want. Y'all ain't doing that no more. Y'all too busy chilling. Relaxing. I'm in Cabo. I'm, I'm Okay. You gonna wake up in Cabo too when you get in that motherfucking ring. I want if I'm a fighter, I want to fight. You say you bet me. Let's see. Let's motherfucking see. And if I'm a boxer and I ain't got the skills that I need yet, I'm calling up champ. Come here, Floyd. Come here. Tony Torva, come here. Roy Jones, come here. Dayla Hoya, lead the fist next. Come, come train me. I want to get better. Y'all get a few dollars. I'm good. I'm going to stick with what I got, man. Shit, I'm, shit. Now, that ain't working. Now, I got to come over here and do these trash videos because you done got knocked out. They got the salmon knocked out out of you. Damn Grizzly Burn Washington could have ate that. Could have ate that salmon. He's telling you the truth. Get a little money now. You, you you start eating different. You was eating chicken fried steaks. You know what I'm saying? Now you go in the nice restaurant. Now you all in lamb, asparagus. Niggas don't know nothing about no damn asparagus. Broccoli. Niggas don't eat broccoli without the cheese. You eating broccoli now? 
doing thing. You know, now you eating, now you drinking champagne. Nigga, you ain't never drunk champagne. Yeah, when you start getting a little blood, you start doing little things a little differently. Stick to the waterfalls like you used to. I know I'm talking about it because I've been there. I was a McDonald's Taco Bell baby. Now I'm getting a little few dollars. I might want to eat a little somewhere different sometime. But that food don't be hidden on nothing. Y'all want to tell me that damn fool? Trey. Letting you know right now. Trey. I'm going to start going to y'all restaurant eating y'all food. I'm going to start doing my own damn review. Damn, Keith Lee. That's the homie. Damn, Keith Lee. He too nice. And I know y'all say he mean. He too nice to y'all. I'm not going to be nice. Don't take a bite. Let us know. I will. Mm, mm, mm. Trash. Tell you right there in your motherfucking face, too. You ain't got to like it, but you're going to respect it. Start telling people how you feel. You ain't got to do it in no way like I do it. But you can start telling people how you feel, and they'll stop messing with you. They'll stop treating you the way they're treating you. They'll start thinking about twice by bothering you. A lot of people, they calling you now. They know you're a bullshit-ass mechanic, but they still bring their car to you, and then you do that bullshit-ass work. Now they mad. Now it's your fault. You know that nigga don't know nothing about no motherfucking car. We ain't want to get mad at the mechanic. Man, he messed up my car. You messed it up. No damn well this man can't see. Got two glass eyes, but you got him up in here trying to change, change the oil. Stop it. We got to stop being so motherfucking backwards, black people. We backwards. We backwards. Stop doing shit the wrong way. Start doing it the right way some damn times. That's me. I'm talking to myself, too. I do shit the wrong way sometimes, too. Do shit that I shouldn't be doing. Going out, getting a car, buying a rim before I get a motor. I done done that. Car look good than a motherfucker. Everybody wonder, man, why Dub don't never drive that car? Man, I got too many cars. I ain't got time to fuck with the car. But the truth is, ain't no motor, no transmission in that motherfucker. Now I'm telling y'all my secrets. Yeah, I'm back. I done done that before. I done paid for some. Boy. And guess what? She stood me up. I learned my lesson. But don't think I ain't been hitting that motherfucking refund button on Cash App. Don't think I ain't. She got me proud. It's cool. It's cool. I'm praying God sent a COVID over her way. I don't normally pray for things like that. But I'm praying God sent a COVID over her motherfucking way. Bitch, you done got down on me for $130. You gonna pay for that. You gonna pay for that motherfucking hundred thirty dollars you got up out of me? <laughs> Pull up, I got bad. I'm blowing her motherfucking phone up. Y'all see not else. So that's when I start hitting the refund button on Cash App. I need that back, and I'm writing Cash App support team. I sent that to a stranger. I need all them funds back home. Don't set me up. Don't set me up no motherfucking more. I bet you that. I got your face plastered on everybody DM. Watch out for this one, fam. She got down on you, boy. I definitely watch out for us scam artists. You won't make no money nowhere else. I bet you that. Bet you be back on list crawlers. Speaking of list crawlers, you don't know nothing about it. You better find out about it right now. Them hoes will come to your doorstep like an Amazon driver. I'm not playing. Fine, too. Some of them just talk a little too damn much, bitch. I want the one that don't talk. Come over here talking and looking around. What I got going on in this motherfucker? Look straight ahead. Open wide. Come here. Ooh, you rough. Hang on. Hang on. In that T.I. boy. Hang on. I'm trying to tell you. And to you motherfucking hoes who couldn't wait to Rich homie corn got in the grave. You hoes already coming out. God damn it. Where's the respect? Hoes ain't got no remounts. Posting every motherfucking encounter y'all had with the homie. Stop it. 
Y'all not telling us something we already didn't know about the homie? Man, they're supposed to make you feel good or something? Cause you slept with the what, what they supposed to do? Man, gone. Oh, backwards, man. How y'all feeling this evening, though, man? How I man? How y'all truly feeling, man? Some, you know what I'm saying, man? Like, I'm, I don't know, man. There's so much going on. Like I said, my DM full right now behind that Trump and Harris shit, man. Full, man. Like I said, I'm just calling like it is. I don't know if some of y'all ain't gonna like. I don't give a damn. She kicked his ass last night. He couldn't answer no motherfucking questions. I know some of y'all gonna say she didn't answer them. Yes, she did. She answered them. Might not have been the answer you wanted, but she answered them. Now, let's bring everything back I've been talking about. Let's bring it all the way back. What the hell going on in Ohio? Y'all eating cats and dogs up to Ohio? God damn it, what's going on up there? Y'all got Wendy's? KLC? Shit, y'all got every kind of restaurant chain up there? Why y'all eating cats and dogs? You mean to tell me these white people are letting it happen? White people are letting people do something to cats and dogs? Oh, my God. Ain't ain't nobody in prison? This got to be fake news, Trump. That's one thing about white people. They not going to let you mess with their motherfucking animals. I don't care who you are. You could be whoever you are out here in the world. You can go out here in the middle of your yard. And see a cat and kick it. And if a white person see you kick that cat, you're going to jail. So for white people in Ohio to know that illegal immigrants is stealing cash and dog and cooking, it's a problem. It's a problem. I know I ain't I know I ain't a cat or dog before. I know. I know I have. I know I ain't gonna say what race. That be cooking them motherfucker. Because y'all gonna sit up and say Chinese race. Right? They ain't doing the motherfucking race out here cooking cats and dogs. That's all I'm saying. Chinese people are not the only ones out here cooking cats and dogs. Shout out to Mr. Wong. You know I love you. I never tell your ingredients or none of that. But I know. I know you don't feed me one of them motherfucking rock wallers. I know. I know you don't feed me a rock wall. I know. I can feel it. But I'm still here. I'm still here. I ain't tripping. I ain't even tripping like that, man. Y'all shouldn't even be tripping half of the time, man. Y'all be tripping on small stuff with people, man. Y'all see something somebody, I don't like it. Y'all man, y'all don't even give people time to man. You don't even give people you don't give people time to even like them. Soon you I don't like it. Mm, forget all that. Now come on now, man. Give people a chance, man. Just like your stuff. Let me tell y'all something. One thing I hate hearing from people. Y'all have a tendency of doing that. Man, y'all be doing anything for fees, man. Y'all be demasculating your own people and black man. No, I don't demasculate no motherfucking body. I ain't raping you in front of your wife and kids and, and doing this to your girl and all. I don't do all that. I'm just telling you the facts about your ass and I'm just making it funny. That's all I'm doing. Who de who who uh, demasculating you is your own motherfucking boss. Telling you when you can and when you can't eat, when you can take out, when you can't take out. That's who demasculating you, your own motherfucking boss, not me. See, that was wrong with some of you niggas. Y'all get on here, talk shit to everybody in the world, but when your boss talk to you, you gonna say a motherfucking word. Your boss tell you shut up and go work, you go work. Soon as your girl tell you shut up, you're ready to fight. Tell me I'm lying. Preaching again today in this motherfucker. You don't talk to your boss at your job like that. Yeah, you get on this thing and then talk all kind of shit, right? All smart quotes like you Malcolm X, motherfucker, like you Dr. Umar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when your boss tell you do something, you do it. The minute your brother or your sister tell you something, you ready to kill them. Why is that? Hmm? If they ain't demasculating, I don't know what the fuck is. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm saying this to the new subscribers who watching me. This thing is content. This thing is comedy, man. Don't take what I'm saying serious. Don't. Don't. But when I'm serious, I'm serious. And when I'm not, I'm not. You should know that by now. We're going to have fun on this motherfucking show. It's the Bubba Dub Show. Sports show and comedy. That's all. 
So you coming on here, you seeing me talking about Kamala, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, you better laugh at this shit and go. Laugh at it and go. I don't want to hear that, man. You voting for Trump. I mean, you voting for that. Man, shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. If you just not watching this show today, and man, you at work, like, man, I can't even watch my dude, dude. Man, you can listen to me on Apple Podcasts. Yep. Or Spotify. Type in the Bubble Dub Show. I will pop up. I will pop up. I done told y'all to get in the comments. I done told y'all I'm finna fly one of y'all out to a game. Now, I'm doing this for y'all. I need y'all to share it. And I ain't just talking to everybody, but I need y'all to cut your notifications on. 358,000 subscribers. Thank God that I got them. But only 2 or 3% of y'all are on this show. That's a problem. We tired of the ESPN and the Foxes. This is it. I'm trying to turn this into that. Them Negroes up there ain't keeping it 100 on them shows. Y'all know it. I am. I ain't sugarcoating no motherfucking thing. I'm finna put some mayonnaise on your sandwich today. So all my new subscribers, welcome. Thank y'all for finally coming over here and seeing what all the fuss about. Now you see. I know some of you laughing right now. Doug, you man, you be making my day. I'm glad I do, because y'all make my day too. When I'm premiering, when I'm going live after the game, or when y'all seeing this video today and y'all on in the chat, chopping it up, loving it, that, that make that make my day too. That 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 make me feel greater than anything. Then I know I'm doing something that's helping somebody get through that day or night. Real talk. And I gotta reiterate this again. After the Dallas Cowboys play the Saints, this Sunday I'm going live. Monday night, I'm going live. Thursday night, I'm going live. Okay? This Saturday night, I'm going live after the Colorado game. I'm going to be covering the Colorado game in the Canelo Alvarez fight. So after Canelo, Canelo Alvarez fight, Saturday night, I'm going live. So y'all can put that on y'all calendars right now. Put that on y'all calendars when I'm going live, man. We're going to have some mother freaking fun. No about y'all. I'm having fun. Wednesday, it's Wednesday evening. It's supposed to be a storm, hurricane coming. It ain't really hit, been raining down here in the H. Thank God it ain't flooding and winds blowing. Thank you. I pray to God that hurricane shift. Cause we just went through that down here in the H. Two or three days, no light. <clears throat> Center point trash. Everybody knows Center point trash. We're not trying to go through no more motherfucking storm. New Orleans, I'm praying for y'all down there too. And if they told you to evacuate, goddamn it, you should have done evacuated. Stop waiting. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna come or not. You don't God say you don't know when death comes. Get your ass out of love. Get your ass out of love. Hell no segment coming up. We finna get straight to it. Hell no, nah, I'm me. Somebody hit me and say, Bubba Doug, do you think Coach Prime going to uh, quit on the Colorado Buffalo? Hell no. Nah. Coach Prime not quitting. Coach Prime not a quitter. He just might move on. Let's say if the Dallas Cowboy call Coach to come coach. What you going to do, Coach? Stay in Colorado or, 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 Colorado or go to Dallas? See, you, Coach Prime probably going to Dallas. I know I would. I know I would. I got to start thinking about what y'all asking me sometime, man. Sometimes y'all already know the answers before you even ask the question. You should already know the answer to that. Now, some of y'all are going to say, man, shoot, man. You know the reason they're leaving because these kids going to leave. Man, shut up. With all that nonsense, with all that freaking hate. Oh, man, he got his son doing this and that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man, y'all going to say nothing? When these white owners leave their goddamn team to their kids and their kids run the team. So if I'm a head coach and my son is a quarterback and he's a damn good quarterback and my son is a safety and he's the best safety on the team, guess what? They going to motherfucking start. I'm doing it now in Little League football. Man, the kids that's playing for me, I'm fucking they mama. 
Do you hear me? I'm a little league football coach, and the young men that's playing for me, I'm fucking they mama. And the ones who ain't playing, I ain't fucking they mama. We don't do no motherfucking substitutions. Unless they get hurt, then I have to put you in there. And then after that, I met your mama. Are he in the game? Come here. Come here. Colorado playing Colorado State this weekend. That's a victory. We still going to be two and one. All this they can't protect. We know what Colorado can and can't motherfucking do. But what they will do is beat Colorado State. I'm standing on it. They will be Colorado State. You can best believe that. You can beg all the T in China. You can beg all the skull one sap deal. You can beg all the white women T.O. date. Colorado will be Colorado State. I'm saying it right now. I'm looking for a marvelous performance from Shadar. I'm talking about a 525-yard game. And I know y'all thinking, no, but they got offensive line. They going to get it done this week, though. Run game gonna work this week. We're gonna have about 85 rushing yards, Colorado. It's gonna work this week. Travis Horn by eight catches. Yep, Horn by six catches. It's going down. Standing on that sideline in Nebraska, watching them go up and down that field and score, brought tears to my motherfucking eye. I was looking like Tyrese that day. I'm not lying. I was looking like a battle mother on that sideline with Coach Prime. But guess what? I hung in there, baby. Because I know brighter days are ahead. Better days are ahead. See, sometimes you got to stay in the trenches, baby. Even when everybody else go home, man, I'm tired. I'm tired of work. I'm just going to go home call it a night. I'm still out there working. Working on my left. Working on my right. Working on my crossover behind. Working on my jumper. Working on my free throw. See, you got to work when ain't nobody else there. It's easy to work when your boss still watching. But can you work when your boss ain't there? That's the kind of people I want around me. Work when I ain't young. You want the kind of woman that when you come into the house and had a long day, she... You ain't got to ask for kids. She gets to it. And I slap on that. Slap on that like a pit bull. Give me a... Watching when she giving me a hit, I'm shaking on popping on that. Yeah, shake, baby. Yeah, work, work. Watch it. That's how I do. When I'm getting here, I'm watching. Don't let him go in. Watch him. That's what you gotta do. Gotta spice it up sometimes, man. Come into the house, man. Man, get, get your ass up against the motherfucking wall. She gonna look at you like, oh, okay. But when you do that, make sure you done took that brute you. Do you hear me? Make sure you are ready to take that boot you when you tell her get up against that wall. Assume the position. See, some of y'all are blessed and I'm not. So I ain't got to do all that cocking back. It's already ready because it ain't but one inch. But the veins in it, like tree branches. Do you hear me? When that one inch get hard and I go down through that horn, I'm going 100 miles an hour. See, I got to give a sex to her like that rough because I ain't got no meat. She, she gonna, but she done forgot all about how small I am because I'm roughing all that ass up on that motherfucker. I'm bouncing it everywhere. All of it is with her consent. You know what I'm saying? All of it is with her consent. She would hold of it. When we get through all oh, the time, oh, I'm sore. Not from the meat. From the roughness I was giving her. See, I learned the game. I can't, I can't, oh, I can't bring pain with this meat, but I can bring it to you being rough. So I let them know beforehand, look, I'm going to be a little rough. I a little rough. But you're going to like it. Because afterwards, I'm going to feed you cheesecake. I know you ain't never fed cheesecake. So you got to find them holes from the project. You got to feed them real cheesecake, New York style, with the cherry on top. Ooh. Ooh feeding them. Ooh, you so nice. They ain't never been treated like that. So you got to treat holes. Nice. I told you I'm backwards. I'm backwards. I love hoes. I don't like good women at all. Good women are the devil. Good women are the devil. Boy, I'm saying a bar here today. Y'all don't even, I'm saying a bar. Y'all stop bullshitting and hit that like button. Y'all should hit the subscribe button. You should be in the comment section right now. You should be down here talking shit. Dub, I know one thing. I want to go to them damn game, and you can go. 
you can go. But you got to do your part just like I'm doing my part. I told y'all football season I was going to ramp up. Y'all going to pretty much see me every day. Here I am. Here I am. You should have share it, share it to your homeboy, your sister, your brother. All you got to do is hit the copy button and share it, and share it to all your people. Even if they don't even like me, share it to them anyway. You should do your part. Every time I drive, you should share it to them, man. Hey, man, I know I like him too, but, man, you got to stop sending me stuff. No. Somebody tell you you can stop sending me that stuff. They the devil. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. Kids in school right now, too. I know some of y'all being nasty. I know some of y'all being nasty right now. Them kids in school right now. Y'all doing y'all motherfucking thing. Just remember, if you having problems right now taking care of that child now, don't you bring down love them to this motherfucking world. That's why I understand. Some of you motherfuckers struggling to take care of your kids now. And you still want to go out and make another one? Nigga, never. That's why I need to be president. I'm going to lock your ass up for that. You know you couldn't take care of the one. You went out here and got two or three more girls pregnant. Come here. Come here. Put your hand behind your back. For what? Boy, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Oh, I'm going to know why I'm being a rich child support. Oh, man, I can't pay it. You know that for you lay up and bust that good one. And I know they be good, too, because the woman be looking in your eyes, feeling all soft. And go on and get it. That's how they get you. Go on and get it. Bitch, don't tell me that, because when I pull out game, wake up, then I'm baby dream. It's fun going in, but it ain't fun coming out that much. So be responsible. But back to what I told you, though. When you come in, and you tell them, I said, if you ain't got no meat like me, if you ain't got, if you got meat, you're good. Do you? I'm jealous of you anyway. Do you? I'm going to rough you up. Mm-hmm. Go on standing on your head, ho. On my head? Mm-hmm. Go on standing on your head. I want all the blood rushing down through there. Because I'm not going to do my mother and do dinner. Trash of the day going to your boy. Donald Trump. Trash. And I do mean trash. It's what I seen last night displayed on that motherfucking debate. You didn't do shit last night, Trump. You deflected, didn't answer questions. You ain't bring up about the 79 felonies you got. You could at least talk about some of them. You could have said, man, they bullshit, they bogus, they just out to get me. I would have went for that, but you didn't. Now, I got to hear everybody on everybody's platform today talk about how Kamala Harris dogged your ass out. Come on, Dunny. Y'all make sure Trump better play his golf, man. He don't look like himself right now. But Kamala Harris, she been around some sisters in this campaign. I don't know who it is, who, who she been around, Diana Rose. She done been around somebody. The girl got sold now. See, they remind my grandma texting me, baby, you see that red lady? I see you. I see you. I see you, Kamala Harris. I see you doing your thing. Prize, I see you excited. Hey. Hey. It could be a new sheriff in town, y'all. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. But all them lies and getting up there saying what you're going to do for the people, y'all better stick to y'all motherfucking word. Y'all always saying what you're going to do for us, but you never do it. When somebody going to finally do something for us, Americans? That's all. Can we eat? We heard we Can we eat? We know other people like to come here, and I ain't got nothing against it. Come here. Live a better life. But we should get first deals at every time. That's all I'm saying. We should get first deals, and we don't. Hey, man, thank y'all for tuning in today's show, man. Um, like I say, and I'm, I'm gonna reiterate this again for y'all, man, because y'all probably getting y'all, y'all probably just not getting on y'all a little late. Check this out Thursday night, tomorrow night, tomorrow night game, I'm going live. Saturday night, I'm going live. Sunday night, I'm going live. Monday night, I'm going live. Don't that rhyme? Thursday night. Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. You can catch me live right here on the Bubble Dub Show, baby. Don't miss it. Gonna be the number one uh, sports podcast in the world. You mark my word how I know because I have faith. I believe. Got some important guests popping up on this show, too. So be on the lookout for that. You're gonna be seeing more T.O. too. Yep, you're gonna see my boy Deshaun Jackson on the show real soon, too. Yes, man, I'm working. Y'all work with me. But most of all, turn your notifications on. 
come on, I want you to know when I'm dropping. I want you to know it won't be no excuse because some of y'all be saying, bro, I didn't even know you were dropping. Cut your notifications on. I got some special coming for y'all too. I got a special trash ringtone coming to y'all so y'all can be able to download it and have it for your notifications for the show. Oh, dub working. You working, I'm working. Yeah. See y'all again when I see y'all. One. Trash, 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 trash,